going on guys welcome back to another brand new division video today i'm going to be showing you guys my updated predators mark build for update 1.5 as you guys know uh, i did actually make one previous uh right when update 1.5 came out but i really didn't have all of the stuff that i needed to make a new updated build but uh, it was still a pretty decent build and now i actually have a super updated one so i'm going to be showing you guys this today so if you guys do enjoy this video today, make sure you drop a like on it if you guys enjoyed it. As well as hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are looking for more Division content. As well as comment down below if you guys are new and you guys want to, you know, maybe run this build or you guys are thinking about running it. Uh, let me know in the comment down below if you guys are going to run this. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, first of all, you guys can see the build right there. Uh, first off, we're going to start with the Predator's Mark Vest. Now, obviously, you guys will notice within this build that I do actually like to run armor on basically everything. If it has a chance for armor to be rolled on it, if it's not already on it, uh, I'm definitely going to take the chance to roll armor on it. Uh, right here, I'll quickly show you guys basically what the bonuses give you when you run two, three, or four piece. Uh, with a two piece, obviously, you guys can see that you get the bonus reload speed. Uh, the three piece, you get the AR and SMG damage for bonus. Uh, as well as the full four piece bonus set uh, you guys can see that you get the talent that is called obviously predator's mark and it gives you the ability to mark people and make them bleed when you hit more than 10 shots in a row on them so going on next to the predator's mark mask you guys can see that i do actually have uh you know the critical chip critical hit chance uh, rolled on it. Now this is definitely a personal preference for person to person. Uh, for me, I like hitting, uh, I like getting critical hit on mine obviously. Uh, for other people, for some reason, they may, uh, you know, not like critical hit and they might want to put that extra skill power, the extra nine or 10,000 skill power on it. Uh, that's totally up to you if you guys want to run that. Uh, but for me personally, uh, I like the critical hit chance on mine rather than the little extra four or 5,000 or 10,000 skill power that you might have on it. Now next, these are actually some pretty cool knee pads that I did actually end up getting last night. Uh, you guys can see that once again I do have armor rolled on it as well as they do have the stamina rolled on it as well. Now the last part I want to note for you guys that you guys might not notice on the bottom, you guys can see that on the minor attributes there's actually enemy armor damage on them. Uh, that's something new that actually ended up coming in update 1.5. Uh, prior to update 1.5 we never had enemy armor damage in the PvP. Uh, so that's really really cool that they added that in and I didn't actually even notice that I had the armor damage on these knee pads because I do have uh, armor uh, damage on my fancy knee pads that you guys can see right there below that I don't have equipped but I just thought it was really really cool that I got lucky enough to get some of the new knee pads. Uh, next we have the holster this is the last predator's mark part of the build <clears throat> and you guys see that once again I do have armor rolled on it uh, there's nothing really other to roll on that other than armor so it'll be really cool uh, to see how this build works in the DZ. I think it'll be pretty good in the DZ, uh, but that is the last part of the Predator's Mark. You guys can see what the armor is. I'm not really sure what the max roll for that is, but I know it's pretty damn close if I had to say so. Now going on to the two solo pieces that I have, um, I am actually running Savage Gloves and the reason for that is the bonus that it gives you, the talent it gives you as you guys can see right there. Uh, the major attributes, these are literally gloves that I bought from the DZ checkpoint, uh, I think. Not last week's, but the week before that, so two weeks prior for the reset. And lastly, this part right here is the key to the build, guys. This is the key to like three or four different builds that you can run in this game. This is the specialized high-end backpack. You guys saw that it had armor already rolled on it, so I got super lucky. I bought the blueprint for it. It's like 635 Phoenix credits in the... Um, the underground if you guys want to go check it out as well as it has the ammo capacity that I had to roll on it because I cannot deal with having like 1100 bullets in the DZ or just in general that is terrible to me but as you guys see what the specialized talent gives you it adds 200% of your firearms and the um, electronics together so whatever that is uh, for your build is going to add that so you guys can see what my build is overall and it's a pretty pretty good uh, build if I had to say so myself as well as you guys can see the, uh, the rolls that I have in my guns these are the two guns I'm using uh, LVOAC that I just got a few days ago as well as the MP5. Uh, you guys can see the rules right there. And then on the MP5 I have Brutal, Deadly, and Vicious on it. Uh, it's probably like one of the best MP5s in the game you can get for roll wise. Uh, I think the damage for it is just under the max so it's like just about one of the best MP5s in the game you can get. Uh, but yeah guys that is the build that is I am currently running for Predator's Mark. If you guys want to run this uh, I'm, I'd, I'd recommend it. I think it's a really really good build. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. 
subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.